What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some nerd pop culture. We've got some great and some sad topics today. We have a beloved celebrity who passed away. We have news on Obi-Wan Season 2 and some Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice? We'll see. Three times. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, let's jump right into it. All right, so we have Moira from Schitt's Creek, all right? Everybody knows her. You might not be a fan. Love Schitt's Creek. You might hate her. She's a little bit of an annoying character. She, oh, yeah, but uh, I mean, I feel like it's most characters in Schitt's Creek are very annoying, over and you the grow top. to love them with their stories and their background. Absolutely. Very well done, show. But she was just a whole nother level. I loved her. She is going to be joining us on The Last of Us Season 2. Ooh. It's going to be fantastic. They haven't announced who she's going to be playing yet, but they did say she's going to be a big role in it. Okay. She's a great actress. She's a uh, Kevin's mom in Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah. Yep. Kevin's mom yeah. from Home Alone. Uh, she had a couple other really big I'm roles. I'm not going to be able to remember them off the top of my head, but she's, she's a great actress. Yeah, she was fantastic. Always funny, too, so she'll probably bring some comedic relief, I feel like, to The Last oh, of yeah. Us during some intense scenes, but yeah. maybe not. I mean, they, they've been winning stuff back-to-back. Back. Didn't, uh, oh, my God, I'm not going to remember his name from Parks and Rec. Uh, win. Ron Swanson? Yeah. yeah. Didn't he just win, like, a Emmy or Golden Globe or something for his episode? I might have missed that. Yeah. I don't, I'm not, like, episode I'm sure. three or six. I can't remember which one it is. Nice. Oh. I know Pedro Pascal just broke his arm, I think it was, or something. Okay. He's been recovering from that, and that's why season two isn't out yet. Fair. But... We also got Paramount Plus's Super Bowl commercial was leaked. Somebody stole it from some sort of server that they had, and you guys aren't going to guess. It's Patrick Stewart playing football with Hey Arnold's head. I saw the image for this and thought it was ridiculous, but I also saw they have Creed in there for some reason. And Creed is in it. Creed's, I think, the whole, he's jamming in the background or something. Patrick Stewart just throws Hey Arnold's head head over the mountains, my guy. Interesting. I'm not sure where exactly Captain Picard comes in with Hey Arnold, but it's crossed over universes now. (laughs) It makes perfect sense. It's canon now. He'll be in Star Trek. He's a foreign planet, foreign person, you know, We'll never see. Who knows? Maybe Spock will find him. <laughs> um, we got Ewan McGregor came on for an interview as well and discussed, not with us, um, that was with <laughs> <laughs> the insider for Hollywood, Hollywood Insider, and discussed Obi-Wan season two and everything that is or is not happening. We have bad news. Disney hasn't even discussed it. Wow. I haven't watched the first season. Is it good? It is the best Star Wars content you can watch on Disney, minus the really? original movies. Because Mandalorian, I'm catching back up on now, and that's great. And then I'm doing Ahsoka next, and then I was going to get to Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, you should set everything down and just watch Obi-Wan. It was okay. so good. I don't want to spoil it, but the lightsaber fight, when you watch it, oh, my God. Uh, I'm just... Screw all the rest of the shows. I'm going straight to Obi-Wan. You definitely <laughs> should. But season two, well, I don't think we're going to get one. But yeah. he did say in the interview, Disney has something very, very big in the works. And coming from him, he mean, he wasn't a big <laughs> fan of the new films. So I think it's going to be sweet. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, just a little sad news coming our way. Uh, Carl Weathers passed away on February 1st, very peacefully in his sleep at the age of 76. Uh, you might know Carl Weathers from, uh, he's a star of movies like Rocky as Apollo Creed. He did the original Predator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, he was recently in The Mandalorian, and I'm trying to think of so many more that he's in, but he's just, he's so good in all these movies. He's it, amazing. Yeah, it's, it's going to be sad to see him go, and we won't see any future projects from him, but uh, he had a great career, so... R.I.P. Carl Weathers. Yeah, I was actually reading a little bit about him, trying to figure out some more about him since he passed away. He actually was a football player. And was yeah, he was for the uh, Oakland Raiders. Raiders yeah. yeah, and then ended up, uh, got his first break in Hollywood for the first four Rocky films. As yeah, he was Apollo Creed. very well built back then. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. he was huge. Oh. <laughs> uh, other than that, get away from the sad news, we got Jim Carrey returning for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Ooh. So we've been told this was Jim Carrey's final movie was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I don't 
know why he would go out on that. But he's returning for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as Dr. Robotnik, reprising his role. Oh, and yeah. we've been teased the big screen debut of Shadow the Hedgehog, Ooh. who is Sonic's darker, edgier Nemesis. counterpart, who's sometimes depicted wielding guns. So we'll see how that plays out Ooh, in Sonic. I wonder if they'll give him guns. I doubt it. Uh, we have that releasing in autumn of 2024. I didn't watch any of the Sonic movies. I just assumed they were going to be bad. Love games. Haven't watched a movie. No. But, I mean, I didn't know Jim Carrey was in it. I'm a fan, so I might yeah, actually play, go. Yeah, he plays Dr. Robotnik I in the movie. He looks crazy in it. I might go now. Yeah, I might go watch it. All right, on to our biggest news. Beetlejuice 2, named Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. It's set to hit theaters September 6th. Uh, this is bringing back some of the old cast, including Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, and Catherine O'Hara. That's three big names coming in for a sequel to Beetlejuice. So be I'm sweet. I'm excited to see it. But there's a part of me that's like the greatness of Beetlejuice was how ridiculous it was shot in the 90s. What was it, like 98 yeah, or something? Yeah, it's almost like a weird horror vibe. Yeah, and the, it just it was so oddly shot that I don't know if they're going to be able to recreate it for a sequel and make it as good. Plus, Michael Keaton was just amazing. Yeah, they do have some other fantastic stars joining them, though, like Justin Tarot, Willem Dafoe, uh-huh. Monica Bellucci. Who is and Willem Dafoe going to play in Beetlejuice? Maybe he'll be the new Beetlejuice. No, it's a Michael Keaton's coming back. He's got, or he? maybe it's a new Beetlejuice and then this Beetlejuice. Two Beetlejuice? 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 It does say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, so who knows? <laughs> <laughs> ah, but that's all we got for uh, some nerd pop culture. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thanks for watching our nerd pop culture segment. We have merch dropping. They are hoodies with us animated on the front of them. They're awesome. They're first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get them fast. Um, but thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week with more nerd pop culture. Peace out, everybody. Mm-hmm.